Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the show and to the channel. Thank you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button just to make sure you you get notified and all that good stuff when we drop these videos. But if you've been tuning in, I appreciate it. If not, we got this 66 by 56 edition behind us that we just started framing this porch on and it's really getting close to wrapping up. So if you haven't already, go back and watch how we got to this point uh, on this uh, build series. But if you have been tuning along with this whole journey, thank you. It is gonna be pretty cool, I think, because the interior has some unique colors that we haven't done yet. But today's job here is to get this porch framing done. I'm supposed to get the sheeting, the zip wall sheeting or zip roof sheeting in this case for that. That should be coming in today, hopefully. And we just got all of our steel. Remember, we got that red on the walls back here, but it's changing to white. So that definitely delayed us quite a bit, but now we got that, we're moving forward and we're gonna try to get this porch taken care of so that we can put the, the roof on it, put the ceiling underneath of it, and then start wrapping up these walls and get this thing covered up because I'm tired of looking at that awesome house wrap even though it has our cool logo on it. Now the way we design these porches is so that we've got that two by six that is also determining our fascia and that's kind of the heel height of our quote unquote rafter truss that we make and then everything is going to plane in so when we run these purlins on top of the rafter I calculate that rise and run and the diagonal of that plane at a three and a half inch uh, purlin depth so that everything planes in off of this face so that way we can put some plywood up here and gain some strength if any snow comes off of that roof, which you guys saw in last video, it does happen. And when it comes down, it's like a roof avalanche, which is kind of an avalanche off of a roof. That's my term, so I trademarked that, don't use it. But anyway, uh, when that snow comes off of that roof and it's got a lot behind it, if you don't put any sheeting on this lower roof, you can get some dents in your steel. I've seen it collapse. Definitely want to be thinking about that if you're doing this sort of detail. And you can do a drop purlin instead of a purlin over top, but we don't really like that detail. I don't think it's as good and definitely not as easy to, to do as this. Sure nope. First one I looked at on the internet, didn't find it in a search term anywhere. Did you? Yep. No search terms anywhere. You sure? Yep. 100%. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you, dude. Which I already trade that trademark out my other my other cow. Did you? Yeah. Dang. How did I know that you probably would do that? I need my sunglasses. lunch today what are you thinking I'm telling you if i don't if i don't get lunch i'm gonna be a hangry son of a gun probably develop a headache productivity would slow down you ready we've been waiting you pushing on it i'm not doing nothing man and you a white you got some hand in you don't you look how white you are old man did i say i wasn't white let the one without sin cast the first stone this is place is more like paper. Well, if it was more like Planet Fitness, you might be getting some gains. I wish it was more like Planet Fitness, too. All right, you done with me? Uh, I think so, bro. What are you doing anyway? I'm going to finish up my J here. Oh, I thought you were done. So we've got all of the porch framed. You can see behind me, if you look right here, the, the trim details done. And basically what we do is we put a reverse mini angle. So basically it's a 90 degree piece of trim, but the color is on the inside of the angle, which we typically use that trim detail up on like, let's say at the top of a fascia board. That way we can kind of protect our lumber from any moisture that comes off the roof and drips around. What we do here is we make it, see when you're doing a steel ceiling in a, in a porch like this, you can't trim the entire thing and get the steel up there because it has to be smaller than the opening to get into it, but then you want it to be filled out all the way so that you don't look up in there. So what we do is we trim the three sides of the porch and then uh, kind of push it up tight to this double mini angle right here. And then we'll cover that with a piece of trim, which you'll see here in a little bit, but it makes it a lot easier and nobody's the wiser once we're done.
gonna ride till I can no more. All right, get this ladder garbage out of here. Okay, I want that. I'm trying to work. That's what I would do. I'd carry one over. I think Zach wins for socks today, man. I like them. Hold that over your boots. Yeah. <laughs> no, left. Yeah, turn. You got it on Bluetooth mode, probably. Nope. Nope. Yeah, turn to the left. Oh, gotcha. I'm glad I'm getting in your truck. You're going around the garden, all the people are trying to believe. Oh, we could do that. We could do that. Yeah. 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 I'm game. You know, nothing like having the right tool for the job, Greg. I know exactly where that attachment's at, too. The weather is just crazy. Yeah, gorgeous today. Yeah, huh? it is. Tomorrow, cool. too? Yeah, I think that we're going to tackle that back end wall tomorrow. It was a little breezy this morning. Pump iron a lot, Greg, or what? You're pretty stacked. All right, Greg, let's see what the heck happens, eh? Shut it up, man. All right, man, just don't, you know. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Dang, dude. That is, that is amazing. That is fantastic. That's, you can't hear anything, though. What'd you say? What? Should I put my hat? Should I take my hat off? That way it don't get all nasty. Yeah, That's a does. pretty prized... Uh, yeah, people like that, don't they? They love it. They're all... Did you know that you can actually buy them off of the Beach and Barn website? No way. Yeah, I usually put a link in the description. So what's the link? Uh, well, it's really long, so... Beachandbarn.com oh, okay. slash... Greg, do you realize that's battery power? That's, that's pretty powerful, man. Still can't hear anything. What'd you say? What? Oh, we should have our hearing protection on. Our hearing protection on? Okay, now, now we, we got to have hearing protection. What'd you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be baked a little bit. All right, Dad. I don't think I have to worry about the width because I can only get in. You know what I'm saying? I can go and get there. So I don't have to go any wider. I just need to cut deeper. Yeah, it's correct. not the width that's the issue. It's the depth. The depth. Yeah, the depth is the issue. So you don't want too much depth. You want more width. No, in this case, I need more depth. That's what I'm saying. It's just not deep enough. But I think you already knew that. I already know that. You have seen better. You have done better. You're going to find out, Zach, really quickly what we're talking about. Pretty impressed with that. How about you? Yeah, I think so. It's. I think it's moving. This. Just kind of a. Oh, 
Boom. There we go. Yeah. Just had to. Look at that. Dang. That is legit, Greg. That almost cut all the way through. Well. We got it. We got about right there. See it? Yeah. That's pretty good.